Um, small businesses in this country have been particularly hard hit by the freeze in the credit markets uh, because without access to credit, particularly short-term credit, most small businesses have a difficult time maintaining current operations. This seems to be exactly the time that the Small Business Administration should be able to be there to ensure that businesses have access to credit. But uh, the amount banks have loaned through SBA's General Business Loan Guarantee Program has fallen substantially over the past year. My question to any of the pan panel members is what steps do you believe Congress and the Small Business Administration can take to ensure that viable small businesses have access to the credit they need to maintain operations or make capital investments? Any of you have thoughts about that? Yes, sir, Mr. Allison. Yes, uh, I, would, uh, I would like to refer back to uh, item 10 in my uh, recommendations uh, referring to the, uh, the SBA 7A and 504 programs. Uh, I agree uh, that uh, right when we need them the most, that access to commercial credit uh, has fallen off. Uh, not that uh, you, know, you could blame any one particular thing, but this is a great concern. Certainly. Uh, Main Street needs SBA lending, and, and frankly, commercial banks, uh, because of uh, the, the current shift towards more regulation, more scrutiny, uh, which we can certainly understand given where we've been over the last year in, in the financial markets, but let's don't overreact and take it all out on the small business sector. Uh, and, and really, this is what I see as, as a, a, probably one of the greatest problems in the, the, the capital end of the problem is uh, you've got local banks that are sitting on money, um, even with SBA uh, taking the majority of the risk. However, I, I do recommend that SBA uh, uh, take a, a greater percentage of the uh, underwriting of these loans uh, in, this, in at least the interim period and that uh, we uh, think in terms of uh, lowering qualification standards, uh, that we uh, exempt fees, anything we can do to streamline it and make, uh, make money more accessible and, and quickly. Any of the other panel members have a comment? I've got a Mr. quick Aaron. quick one. I just, you know, our line of credit, uh, fortunately because of our fiscal year, we wound up renewing it before uh, everything got to a really bad place and for, you know, I finished my year end in the end of October. So my bankers, quite frankly, even made statements that, you know, thank God you're renewing your line of credit right now because <laughs> It, it could change if we were looking at this in the first quarter or, or at the middle of next year, and it could be altogether different next year. And so I think, uh, um, you know, unfortunately, small business isn't getting a direct line of the bailout monies. Um, and so anything we can do to help help allow our lenders the ability to give us the needed lines of credit to continue to operate our business would be uh, very valuable. We did the exact same thing. We had our line of credit set up just prior to all of this, so that part's good. Very good. Okay, and but just to yield time, I, I have to agree with what's been said so far. Thank you, sir.